Here's a question I get a lot. People are like, what's the difference between a mole and a molecule? Are these just different words for the same thing, or are they very closely related? Well, what's the difference between a mole and a molecule? The difference between French and Chinese. These two things are totally different. You know, but they're both difficult concepts. So if you've been confused by this, don't worry about it. We'll talk right now about what each of them is and what the difference between them is, so you won't be confused by it anymore. Let's start with a mole. A mole is a number that we use to count things with, okay? You're already familiar with some stuff like this, right? So like, one number we use to count things is the dozen. A dozen means that we have 12 things. Or maybe you're familiar with what we call a baker's dozen, which is 13 things. Or the idea of a gross, which is a dozen dozen. So it's 144 things. In other words, all of these things, dozen, baker's dozen, gross, are just numbers that we use to count things, okay? The mole is exactly the same. The mole is a number just like these other guys, except instead of 12, 13, or 144 things, there are 602 hextrillion things in a mole. And because this is such a big number, 602 hextrillion, it's often written in scientific notation as 6.02 and we move this decimal place all the way up here to 23 spots. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, 602 hextrillion things in one mole. Okay? So the mole is a counting number. We can have a, a dozen donuts, or we can have a mole of donuts. We'd have 602 hextrillion donuts, or we could have a mole of jelly beans or a mole of golf balls, or a mole of anything else you can think of. It just means that we have in one place 602 hextrillion of those things. So that's what a mole is. Now let's talk about a molecule. A molecule is what we get when a bunch of atoms connect to each other to make something. Right here is a drawing of the ethanol molecule, which is alcohol. It's the alcohol that is in things like beer and wine. And what I've drawn here are the different atoms that make it up, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And the lines between them indicate connections between these two atoms, just like they're holding hands or like they're glued to each other. So here is a molecule. Now, sometimes I think people get confused about the idea of moles and molecules because we can count molecules, right? These are, these are things. These are like actual things that exist. So I could have a dozen molecules, which means that I had 12 molecules, or I could have a gross molecule, 144. What I think gets confusing is that it's also possible to have a mole of molecules. And if I have a mole of molecules, that means that I have, where did it go? Here it is. It means that I have 602 hextrillion of these. So that's how these words, mole and molecule, can relate to each other. But don't confuse them. Mole is a big number used for counting things. And a molecule is what you get when a whole bunch of atoms come together to make a structure. 